Hey there and welcome to my channel. I figured I would film a chit chat get ready with me since it's been a really long time since I filmed one. And if you know me in person, you know I'm not a very chatty person. So I'm trying to challenge myself to film more of these. I believe I filmed one in the past, but I think that's about it. So yeah, it's about time I film another. So I'm just going to be showing you which products I'm using and in between we'll update you with some life happenings. I've already moisturized my face and now I'm going to apply a thin layer of the Sotis Instant Energizing Corrector. Um, so this is basically a primer. It has a purple tint and it helps reduce facial redness. I've been meaning to film a video for um, the last few weeks and every time I've had a day off where I could actually film, the weather has been so horrible. Um, I believe for the month of October, they said there was triple the amount of rain um, as there normally would be. Okay, so next I will be using the Makeup Forever Water Blend Face and Body Foundation. I've already reviewed this on my blog, but I haven't used it in a video yet. So I thought I would put it to use today. And I'll just be using my Real Techniques um, buffing brush to apply. So just dotting it a bit all over the place. So if you are a follower of this channel, you would know that I recently went to Italy and I documented my entire trip. Um, I challenged myself to create a vlog with the footage that I filmed over there. Um, so that's one of my most recent videos if you want to click over there. Um, I have to say, like, I really admire people who vlog, or people who even daily vlog. I don't know if you guys follow Casey Neistat. Um, I discovered him a few months ago, and I've seriously become addicted to watching, like, every single one of his videos. Um, he's basically an entrepreneur, and he's also, um, a traveler, so... It's really interesting to keep up with what's going on in his life. So yeah, he kind of inspired me to film a vlog. And it was so time consuming to edit, you guys. I think I had like, hmm, probably over 200, maybe maybe even 300 like short clips. And like the clips would be like 15 to 30 seconds long. But the editing process I think took me probably over like 15 hours like on and off which is really insane when you think about it. So if you would like to go show my video some love, um, that'd be super appreciated. And let me know if you would like to see more like travel vlogs or... I don't really have an interesting life uh, on the daily, so I don't really see myself vlogging my daily life, but you never know. Okay, so now I am concealing my imperfections with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer which I've had for like, I don't know, a year, no, probably two years and I'm finally like scraping the bottom which is awesome. To conceal my eyes, I haven't used this that often um, but I really like it. It's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer and I'm just gonna dot that under my eyes. So what's new with you guys, I would love to know um, what's new and exciting in your life. So as you can see, um, this foundation is not very like high coverage. So I'll be using a powder to hopefully add a bit more coverage. So this is the Yves Rocher Zero Defaut Flawless Skin Powder. Um, and it comes with a brush, but I'm just going to use, let's see, um, this big fluffy brush. So skin update, um, still dealing with acne, um, although um, breakouts are very much not as frequent, um, but my issue is that I scar really easily, so that sucks. And I always break out uh, pretty much around that time of the month. Um, and I've also been breaking out on my neck, which is never fun. 
So yeah, <laughs> that's the struggle with adult acne. Um, I have started using Retin-A, um, which I find is a really good option for like um, helping reduce pigmentation. I've been using it consistently for like the last month and it has helped but like again it's not like a foolproof solution. So I'm using the Hoola Benefit Bronzer to add a bit more depth to my face. I actually picked this up when I was in Las Vegas a few years ago um, and have loved it ever since. Although I keep forgetting that I have it because I have a few other bronzers and I try to alternate between them so I keep forgetting how much of an awesome product this is. To add a bit of a glow to my face I'll be using the Balms Mary Luminizer. So I just like to apply a bit on my cheekbones, on the tip of my nose and on my cupid's bow. And I'll also be using the Rose Bud Blush by Glow Minerals. Um, and I think it's a really pretty like everyday color. I'll be tanning my brows with this Yves Rocher eyebrow pencil um, and I really like it. It's pretty much like the shade of my hair so it works out. And then just setting that with this brow gel. So I wanted to ask you guys what is your favorite TV show because I'm looking for new ones to watch. Um, my favorite TV show of all time is probably Heartland. Um, it's such a great show like honestly like I always look forward to Sundays because um, that's when new episodes are airing so um, if you're in Canada and you do not watch Heartland or I think they even um, have it in the States on a different network so if you haven't heard of Heartland you should definitely um, look it up it's a great um, like family drama series which um, is really really fun to watch. I have previously filmed a video using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette but I figured I would reach for it again today and try something new and I think it's going to be re-released very soon so keep your eyes out for that. I think I'm gonna stick to browns today because I'm going to be doing a bold lip so um, I think I'm going to go with caramelized all over my lid which is this shade right here. I'm actually like seriously in love with this palette. It's like the most pigmented eyeshadow palette I think I've ever tried. And I have the awesome Julie from Swatch and Review to thank for having it in my life. Okay, so um, the base is there and then I'm just going to flip my brush and um, highlight with the shade Nectar, which is the second one over here. Um, and then to highlight, I like to do beneath the brows and the inner corners. For the crease, I'm just going to go in with a darker brown, so I'm just going to use um, Charmed, I'm sure, on the upper corner here. Brown is probably my favorite crease color to use. I rarely use black because um, I just find it looks really harsh on me, so um, brown, um, I don't know, is much more subtle, but still gives um, dimension to your eyes. I'm keeping it simple today and won't use um, liner, but I will be curling my lashes as per usual. I remember when I first started playing with makeup, um, my sister would curl her lashes and I thought it was like the freakiest thing ever. Um, like I would like think it's so <laughs> disgusting 
and like run away whenever I saw her doing it because I was like, oh my god, it's so close to your eyeball, like you're gonna stab yourself, how is it not painful? And it took me forever to like master eyelash curling because I was so freaked out. But now it's like no big deal. Um, I can't really do my eye makeup without curling my lashes, so... And for mascara, I'll be using the Yves Rocher Vertige Longueur, which is freaking awesome. It has this like tiny wand, which is great um, to even do your lower lash line. I don't know if you guys know the singer Zara Larsson, um, she's Swedish and um, I discovered her, I believe it was last year or before last year, and I'm like seriously obsessed with every single one of her songs. Um, she's super talented and she's really young too, she's only 18, but she recently came out with the song Ain't My Fault and seriously it's been on repeat for um, the last two or three days <laughs> ever since I discovered it. So. You guys should definitely check it out. For the lips, I'll be using the Makeup Forever Artist Rouge Cream Lipstick in the shade C506. And it's for this really beautiful, deep purple. I reviewed a few other shades on my blog if you'd be interested, so I'll make sure to leave that below. Whenever I use darker shades, um, I just like fill in the inside and then I use a lip brush to um, sharpen the edges. Sneeze? No? Okay, it passed. <laughs> So this completes my makeup look. Let me know in the comments what do you prefer. Do you prefer um, chit chat, get ready with me's, um, sped up tutorials with music on top. Um, those are always fun to film and I love looking for songs to include in my videos. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed. If you didn't already know, I have a blog so you can hop on over there and browse and check out what's new. Um, I also am on social, so you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Google+, Snapchat, and all the links will be below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!